Welcome to today's Tuesday Tip. Keeping in the practice of the series of common mistakes that we make on MORs, uh, I've been working in the field and have some more tips for you today. Today's four tips are, number one, the EIV acknowledgement. It should be the EIV and you brochure. While in a particular section of one of the states that's in our portfolio, they ran the EIV announcement from the RIP listserv notice, and that was incorrect. So, of course, they received the finding for not having the EIV and U brochure. So if you're managing for a housing authority or if you are a housing authority, it has to be the EIV and U brochure as the acknowledgement. The second tip is involving the move in, move out inspection form. The condition of the unit on the move in parts of the form I'm noticing are just blank. There's no indication as to the condition of the unit. It needs to say, okay, have a check or something. The 4350 asks the owners and agents to reflect the condition of the units on that report. Also, the residents and the managements aren't signing the form. Make sure you do that. The next MOR tip should be the recertification questionnaire. If you're doing a recertification and AR, you need a questionnaire to make sure that nothing has changed since the last certification. And last but not least is the rejection application. When you complete the rejection application package, you need to have a copy of the VAWA addendums with them so that you can justify, so that you can prove, so that you can show that you did give the VAWA information to the rejected applicant. Well, stay tuned next week for more MOR tips. See you then. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.